Hi, and welcome to another episode of More to Media here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Jeff Swartz, and I have a fantastic guest with me, Aaron Watson, who is the CEO and founder of Piper Creative. It's a company that focuses on video production for content, podcast creation, and training. I'm really excited to have him on the show. Thanks for being on here, Aaron. Jeff, thanks for having me, man. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. So dive a little bit more into Piper, the history, kind of what you guys have going on. Give us that 30 second elevator pitch. Yeah. So we focus on producing serialized content, uh, primarily for B2B service providers, but for all sorts of companies. And really we saw this gap in the market that a lot of, you know, small, medium sized businesses, large sized businesses, even were struggling to produce content consistently because it either costs too much or they didn't know what to say week after week, and we help them do that. Awesome. And one of the things I love about you and your company and your brand is that you are one of the best companies at practicing what you preach. You create your own content and a lot of it for yourself. Um, So you have this kind of unique perspective of not only using it for your own company, but also doing it for other companies. Explain a little bit about the benefits that you've experienced as a user, as well as doing it for other companies and some case studies that you've done for for other uh, companies successfully. Right on. I love talking to a good marketer because you, you really honed exactly in on our secret sauce here, which is we're producing a ton of content. And I'll talk to other agencies that don't take that approach. And they're kind of like, you know, they, they further, but they're not quite sure why that's so important to us. And we see it really through, through two major benefits for the clients that we serve. Number one, we are actually testing week by week, day by day, what content is most effective in the YouTube shorts format on TikTok, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on YouTube. And we have skin in the game with those posts. So we really care that they perform well because that's our channel. That's how we get our business. All of our, all of our uh, leads are inbound from the organic content that we do. Then in addition to that, a lot of the content that we're producing, I mentioned B2B service providers, the head of the law firm, the head of the wealth advisory, the CEO of the robotics company, that's who we're capturing on camera. And more often than not, those folks aren't uh, going through some rigorous media training. And so what they need isn't just someone who can operate all the camera equipment and do the post-production to make them look good. They need someone who can coach them through how to tell their company's story, their, explain their value proposition on video in a focused and succinct way. And because we've spent so much time on video, we're really good at coaching our subjects who aren't media trained to speak on camera. We had to learn it ourselves and we have to teach people that all the time. And so we really get this unique, tangible value prop for our clients who you know tend to keep coming back. So an example of that is a uh, wealth advisory firm where the first year they work with us, we did five videos. The second year, we did 32 videos. And the following year, we uh, got a contract for 109 videos because they saw the efficacy, they got more comfortable with the process, and they said, we want to do more of this. And they got record-breaking revenue growth, record-breaking client retention, which is the name of the game in wealth advising. And uh, they attribute a lot of that to the media that we produced for them. Awesome. I love it. I, I think that that makes a lot of sense. It, I mean, it gives you the best education by doing it for yourself. And then also you can pass it on and then you have those case studies that you can really dive into. So I'm going to shift gears a little bit because I think that there's something that's very important to you right now in the formatting kind of kind of uh, uh, phase. You are very big on different lengths and different formats of video. Why is it so important to have horizontal versus vertical, different lengths, all those uh, different kind of components of really maybe even the same video content? Yeah. So the essence of this question is the 10,000 pound gorilla in the room, TikTok. TikTok is the fastest growing. It is giving Zuckerberg and all the people over at Facebook, you know, night terrors because of how much attention and oxygen it is sucking out of the media ecosystem. And what do all these platforms do to respond? They elevate their own like for like product. The same way Instagram ripped off Snapchat stories back in the day. They're doing the same thing with Instagram Reels, copying the TikTok short form vertical video format. 
And so I hear, I talk to people all the time. They think TikTok is juvenile. They think it's a flash in the pan. They think it's a place that only dancing occurs. And the reality is, is that we've documented all sorts of businesses that have grown enormously thanks to TikTok. But if you don't want to do that, then you need to say, okay, well, I'm going to do YouTube shorts, which is YouTube's answer to TikTok. I need to do Instagram reels. I need to do Snap, uh, Snap's product that is also the short form vertical video. And this is propagating onto everything. We even see it on LinkedIn now as the most effective format for your media. So you have to master this technique if you want to see success in video. We see it unequivocally with our clients, with our own content. And it is the thing that I'm just trying to ring the bell on for folks um, to, to start to build that muscle now because the opportunity is going to go away here in the next 18 to 24 months. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is every single social media platform that has success started out young. Like it started, I mean, Facebook went to colleges, Instagram was, was also dubbed as young. Even LinkedIn was this thing where young professionals really adopted it before the older crowd as well, too. So if, if it's getting adopted by the young crowd for TikTok, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense that it's going to continue to grow. And I think that growth is here to stay. Well, Aaron, we're already out of time. I really appreciate you being on here. I know that you have a wealth of knowledge and we can talk for hours and hours about this stuff as well, too. But thanks for be on the show, man. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And thank you for watching another episode of More to Media here on Daily Ad Brief. If you want to get in touch with Aaron or digest his content, I highly recommend following him and Piper Creative. We'll have all of their contact information at dailyadbrief.com. Thanks again for watching and have a good one. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.